A major expansion is on the way for the Eccles Dinosaur Park in Ogden, but it's forcing their next door neighbors to move out. Yeah, the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center continues to face those challenges right now. New specialist Mike Anderson with a look at the planned improvements and why this is happening. City leaders say they're trying their best to protect both organizations as one moves out, another one looks to expand, but board members here at the museum say they're excited for the learning opportunities coming in the future. Step into a museum and learn something new. We didn't know that you could cut open a geode. That was rad. That's what the McGraw family is getting today. He's got rocks in his hat. And seeing that happen is huge for people like Jeff Bond, education director at the Ogden George Eccles Dinosaur Park. And he says future improvements will help them show people even more. When I was in kindergarten back in the mid 80s, we knew of about 300 dinosaurs. Now it's more than 1,100. Most of the dinosaurs that we have found have been discovered in my lifetime. A dinosaur hatchery will give designers and artists a dedicated space to prepare new exhibits. That it's just this wow factor every single time somebody comes. Shane Lyon is president over the museum's volunteer board. He says they are looking to make about $2 million in improvements, an all abilities playground, a volcano display, and a work area for the adults, all supported by donations. And that's our biggest goal with the is we don't want to get staff we want to grow. Meantime, it is tough to balance their future with that of the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. Construction delays here can cost more money, while a rest deadline can hurt over there. We want to help. We want to create a win-win opportunity. City leaders say they're trying to balance that progress while bringing more opportunities for families. It is that light that uh, educators just love to see. And by the way, the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center did get a one-month extension on the move-out date. They'll not have until April. A city spokesperson says they're trying their best to balance not hurting them with the possible added costs that can come from delaying the expansion. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.